أفستي You can be anything you wanna be with a little motivation and it. Yes, you can. You can reach every goal you wanna reach with a little dedication and faith. Knowledge is the greatest legacy. We make this path our destiny. Our deeds echo eternally. Bless me on this journey. Rabbi, zidni ilma. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاك الله خير to everybody who is joining us live Alhamdulillah uh, we can thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enough for this moment how hard we've worked to be here today Alhamdulillah ya Rabb Alhamdulillah parenting with Allah by my side team is uh, truly humbly grateful to first Allah and then to everybody inshallah who has joined our second uh, annual conference uh, Parenting with Love and Purpose. Today we have with us our founder, Sister Sarah Adam. And Sister Sarah Adam is a passionate educator and founder of Love Learning Online. The heartache of experiencing her child being bullied in school in 2019 and motivated her decision to shift to homeschooling. You have seen Sister Sarah and Sarah Adams uh, Love Learning Online. You have known her programs. You have seen her on the conferences mashallah tabarakallah she is the heart and the engine behind our team alhamdulillah um may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless sister sarah and her family and also along with us we have sister andrea amina mashallah tabarakallah and she is the co-founder of my moon online a website dedicated to creating an easy avenue for families to access reputable quran and arabic teachers for seven years she has taught both arabic and quran in her native country of germany allowing her to support roughly around 300 women and children in their study towards uh, learning the book of Allah. Mashallah, she does kickboxing. She does horse riding. Mashallah, she is, mashallah, <laughs> alhamdulillah, powerhouse. Uh, and also with us today for the very first time, alhamdulillah, we have with us Sister Farida Umar. She is a personal development coach and she helps women overcome inner conflict and up their level of confidence to create a life they deserve and be the women they want to be. Of course, I am Erin Ben Safia, and you know me as uh, with parent Parenting Uncomplicated with Erin Ben Safia. I am also a co founder of uh, Parenting with Allah by My Side. And without further ado, Sister uh, Sarah, the mic is all yours. Bismillah. I would love to introduce you, first of all, Sister Erin Ben Safia, because you introduced everybody else. <laughs> So, Erin Bint Safia is a US-based, first-generation American Muslim with an intense love for learning, growing, and simplifying the process of teaching our children to become the best version of themselves. As a life coach, teacher, and motivational speaker, she's found her passion in presenting ideas that will support the betterment of Muslim families through her e three E's framework of education, empathy, and ethical goodness. She has been the vehicle in which over 300 women and counting have re-established their own iman and found peace in their parenting and are no longer exhausted and emotionally worn out. And we are just super excited and to welcome all of you here. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. If you are here live, then please do uh, type in the chat, interact with us, let us know if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like us to talk about, inshallah. And... 
If you're watching on, on the replay, you can also still message us, hashtag replay, and let us know how's it going. So before we start, before we start, sorry, let's start, inshallah, bismillah. Um, I would like to introduce you again, uh, Sister Farida Umar. So Sister Farida would like to talk to you about her experience last year when she watched the conference herself. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome sisters to our second annual conference. Um, just to give you all a little bit of a background, I'm a personal development coach, but I wanted to just come on here and just tell you my experience of when I attended the conference last year. Um, I was a new stay at home mum, 11 year old daughter. I had a corporate career, um, I spent a lot of time away from home. So my parenting skills, yes, were there, but I didn't really feel as if I had them, that makes sense. Um, I knew that I had to sort of gain the, the knowledge again and reach out to women. Um, and I wasn't quite sure where I was going to reach out to, to be honest. So in January of last year is when I was at home full time. Um, and obviously spending a lot of time at home, I realized quickly that I had to do a lot of work on myself as a parent to be able to help my daughter. So I started obviously on the spiritual side, which is very important to me um, and important to everybody, um, alhamdulillah, because without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be mothers, basically, because um, children are a gift from Allah. Um, so I really kind of had to do a lot of deep digging because, yes, I was labelled a mother, but was I actually being a good mother? Yes, I was, I'm kind hearted and, you know, I felt like I was doing the right things. But I knew there's a lot of women out there who've got a lot of experience, a lot of skills and wanted to reach out. And I remember um, sort of being invited to the Parenting with Allah by My Side group. And even the title to me thought, oh, wow, this sounds absolutely amazing. Um, obviously started watching the lives and the videos and the, the comments. And I thought there's women out there who can reach out to um, that, you know, that, that will help me, basically. Um, and then along came the conference. I was so excited. Um, emails came through. I signed up immediately. And that was it. I just shared it with all my mum friends, everybody that I knew. Um, and I kind of formed a little separate group. Um, obviously, I wasn't part of the, the team then. I am, you know, a mum tuning in, just like, you know, you women are. Um, and started like a, a little offset group where we used to have a chat after the lives. And it was really nice because I thought, Do you know, I've really connected with all these women online. But yeah, I've kind of connected again with the mums that are in the community, my community as well at home. Um, and it really, really did make a difference. And I, I know I was saying, Sister Sarah, last week, um, that I remember that I used to put the, put the videos on and I'd be cooking at the same time and just, you know, watching the videos and just taking it all in. But what it did give me was, it gave me the perspective, it gave me the time um, with all the information that was shared by these, you know, wonderful wonderful, wonderful ladies. I really felt that heartfelt connection. Um, and I know I've listened to parenting talks and videos and, you know, I have before. But I think the, the common theme here is we're all here for one purpose and we're all being guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's just absolutely magical. Um, the changes in me as a mother, have been absolutely phenomenal. I've got so much sort of, un I've got, I've got a lot more understanding on how to kind of approach my daughter, how to kind of have those conversations. It's given me the confidence, even though I'm a confident person, I think parenting, you start to kind of compare yourself to other mothers and it can get quite, you know, you can get quite lost in it all. So for the conference, I absolutely loved it last year um, and I couldn't wait. And I thought, I hope there's a second conference. I hope it, there's not just one. And Alhamdulillah, here we are. 
second year, second conference, and to be actually be part of the team and to see what goes on behind the scenes, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I know Sister Iram was saying about Sister Sarah that she is the engine behind, you know, everything that goes on, but all the work that's done behind, because don't forget, we're all mothers, we've all got children, we've all got husbands, we've all got everything else to do. But the spirit that these women bring to this conference and what I've gained from it is absolutely magical. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and I hope I hope you all tune in all week. Um, I mean, I certainly am. I've got it all marked out in my diary. Um, and inshallah, I'm sure you'll all benefit from this conference as much as I have. Heartfelt thank you to all of you, all you sisters. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair to you, Sister Farida, and Jazakallah khair to all our viewers. I just, I've written that in the comments, actually, that any kind comments we hear, they keep us going. I don't know if you know about, um, sometimes we talk to the children about their kindness or meter, and, you know, and I say to them, you know, if you're kind, that's like your fuel that keeps you going. So we're like, was someone kind to you? Are you kind? Are you kind? You know, and you get that little thing. And that is the fuel that keeps us going, isn't it? Sister? <laughs> and we just try, you know, inshallah, with Allah's help, we really do feel like, inshallah, that we can move forward and inshallah bring as much as we can to our parenting and our children inshallah because the main thing for us is that they are the future they're the future of the ummah inshallah they're our future you know they're going to be around when maybe we need help we're older you know i'm not saying that we're going to be um living with them for sure right <laughs> i don't want to live with my kids <laughs> But, so you, have to share, you have to share that joke about the little one who, you know, you remember? If you don't Nobody remember, I don't know. About my wife. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I did tell the others uh, a, a few months ago, actually, uh, I was just talking and I said to them, oh, you know, if mommy has nowhere to stay, can she come and stay with you? So all the other four are like, yes, of course, yes, of course. And Suleiman, he's seven, he looks at me and he's like, um, and I look at him really shocked, like, what do you mean? Everyone else said, yeah, what's wrong with you? And he said, well, you know, I, I am going to have my wife as well, mummy. <laughs> and I said, yeah, of course, inshallah, don't worry, <laughs> I won't be in your bedroom. <laughs> but it's that kind of feeling or thinking that I think we're showing them from now, look after your wives, look, you know, care for your family. That is, you know, yes, we are your family right now. And inshallah, they will be your family in the same way that I, you know, I'm the mother of this family right here, but I'm still part of my, you know, parents' family. We all are. But once you grow up, I think there is a big kind of, you know, uh, a difference from growing up within that family and then separating and having your own families of course there is but um yeah I was surprised but not that surprised with him you know <laughs> right now he doesn't want to sleep anywhere except with me so let's see how it goes <laughs> um I'll just answer this quick question here is there something there for teenagers yes sister there is there's lots of things coming up for teenagers for little babies for toddlers We've covered all ages and stages, inshallah, in our conference. And um, one of the talks today, actually, with Sister Hale Banani is about uh, raising resilient uh, parents, right? <laughs> is that right, Erin? No, yeah, no, it's about being depleted in emotions. Resilient parents. That's it, is right. Yes. Sorry about that. Yes. And um, she's actually got something especially for this, inshallah. The schedule is on the website, Sister Candice. Uh, I can send that link to you in just a couple of seconds when I finish. Or Sister Aram, if you can just send it to her. The They haven't got the schedule. So, uh, Parenting with Love and Purpose. So, why did we choose this particular title? So, last year, I'm sure that most of you know that last year we did the conference and we decided that the title was going to be a new sense of parenting because we really did feel that it was a new way or a new idea or a new era of parenting. 
And inshallah, we want to raise our children with this new sense of parenting without the constant put downs, you know, the, um, I think we talked a lot about spiritual abuse last year. We talked a lot about positive parenting and bringing that in to our children and, and their lives, inshallah. And most of those things correlate with parenting with love and purpose because for sure 100 percent you know um or should I say 98 percent because me sometimes I have those days where I feel a little bit <laughs> um <laughs> but most of the time we do love our children don't we um and we do absolutely love them inshallah and we want to care for them and we have that unconditional love because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite wisdom and, and um, hikmah, I'm sorry, I, I need to just turn these comments off because they keep distracting me. Just give me one second. I'm just going to go to there. Okay. Um, uh, so in his infinite uh, wisdom and mercy to us, to our children and to our families, he put rahm into the mothers, right? So our womb, the Arabic word for the womb, actually comes from the root word for mercy. That is because mothers are the most merciful to their children. So I'm sure that you've all been in a position where somebody, you know, maybe a, a grandparent or their father even, or somebody is telling off your child, and although you know they deserve it, you feel a little bit stressed out, and you feel like, oh my God, they're hurting my child. You know they're not, but it's the mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in you. And if you imagine that he has the love for us of 70 mothers, subhanAllah, just imagine how he feels about us, and how we should feel about our children, inshallah. With that love, comes a lot of responsibility, obviously. And we need to make sure that our purpose in the beginning, from the start, our intention is to please Allah. And if it is, then that means every single thing that we do for our children will be to gain reward from him, inshallah. We will get reward for everything we do, feeding them, clothing them, bathing them, you know. And I'm sure we've all had those days where we just feel, if I if I see one more, I feel like laughing because it was if I hear that nasheed one more time. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard it. <laughs> um, but it, But we have those days where we feel like, you know, that's it, I've washed enough socks to last me a lifetime, those kind of feelings. But if you remember on those days, especially when you're feeling really down that every single thing you do, every word you utter, every hug you give, every time you kiss your child, you are being rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you are doing the job that he gave you to raise those children with love and purpose. And I'm not just talking about mothers here, of course, fathers, grandfathers, grandmas, aunties and uncles. You know, my sister actually showed me on Zoom the other day, she was showing me a new house and she zoomed in on a, uh, a little frame that I'd given her. And I'd completely forgotten about it, but it says that the next best thing to, of having you as my sister is having you as an auntie to my children. And that, again, what Sister Farida was talking about earlier, having that tribe, having those people near you that if you can't talk to your child about something for whatever reason, maybe they, they want to have you know, other adults to confide in. You have those people around you and make sure that everyone is on the same page as you. And that is our purpose. I think a lot of our purpose of having Parenting with Allah by my side, we wanted to create a tribe where everyone can get together, inshallah. I'm not going to take too much more of your time, but I just want to add a little bit about learning because obviously I'm part of Love Learning and I need to tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> Love Learning Online is a platform where you can come and get tuition for your children by qualified teachers. So there are, at the moment, we've got five teachers, all are qualified from the UK, and we teach lessons online in science, maths, English literature, English language, Arabic. And when I say science, I also mean biology, chemistry and physics. And we teach GCSE level and we teach Key Stage 3 level mainly. Now, in terms of teaching, I've been teaching for over 15 years. And one of the things that I find really heartbreaking sometimes 
is that parents have super, super high expectations of their children. Now, in terms of, you know, love learning and teaching your children, of course, every child matters. Every teacher tries their best to teach their child. But what I find sometimes is that parents have super high expectations of their children and they think you're not going to be successful unless you go to Harvard or Yale or Princeton or Oxford or Cambridge. If someone gets into one of these universities, all of a sudden they are a success just by entering into that university. I was getting a taxi home from London uh, to the airport and the taxi driver wasted no time in telling me all about his children who one was at Oxford and one was at Cambridge, you know. I thought that was amazing, mashallah. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a great achievement. But at what cost did they do that? At what cost did they enter into these universities? And are those children happy? Now, I can't really comment on that particular situation, but I do know that getting into the university is just the beginning, right? After that, they've got to work hard. They've got to be in that university. They've got to go out and get whatever career they get. Now, my question to you guys is that if someone went to a different university, does that mean they're not successful? Does that mean that success didn't occur for them because they didn't get into the right program or the right university or study the right subjects? One of the people very close to me her daughter was really worried when she was doing the GCSEs. Very worried. She was like, oh, but, you know, what are my cousins going to say? What are my aunties and uncles going to say? And I kept saying to her, don't worry what they're going to say. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. This is your life. You're going to achieve what you're going to achieve. And it's got nothing to do with anyone. But as I was consoling her, I remember crying myself to my uncle. And I remember just he walked through the door and he was like, you know, with a big smile, like, you know, he's coming to find out my results. And I just burst into tears because it was the first time ever that I got lower than a B. I know I'm a nerd, but anyway, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I am a nerd. But, you know, it was really, really stressful. And knowing that he, you know, was going to be disappointed in me and he's the one that sat me down. My parents did as well, but I remember my uncle because obviously sometimes, like I said to you, uncles, aunties, grandparents, they're all a part of bringing us up, inshallah. When we have a purpose in life, what is that purpose? If the purpose is to please Allah, then it doesn't really matter what university you go to. It doesn't really matter what grades you get. What matters is that you are a good Muslim, inshallah, that you do the best that you can, that you, you know, um, you're a kind person. You show compassion and mercy and you follow the son of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the future, these children are going to be husbands and wives and aunties and uncles to other children. And wouldn't it be lovely if they could be as compassionate as we want to be to them right now? Wouldn't it be lovely if you had parents, you know, uh, if you had that community, if you had that tribe around you, that everyone was kind of on the same page? So, yes, we're Muslim. Yes, we pray. Yes, we fast but we also are kind and compassionate. and We also go towards pleasing Allah. Yes, for sure, there has to be this hand-in-hand -hand effort. And I know my mum has a, a big kind of, um, you know, um, issue with this with these words of oh the girls should stay at home I'm certainly not saying that at all no way should the girls stay at home we're not I mean we are at home right now but we're not staying at home are we ladies <laughs> so <laughs> we shouldn't you know we don't have to stay at home but what we should do is we should always be able to be independent and I've noticed a lot recently especially but on a lot of forums that I'm on, because obviously I'm always talking to Muslim mums, I'm talking about education, or we're talking about issues that affect us, or we're talking about what's going on. And I always hear little this message that comes up every so often. My husband of 20 years is leaving me. I'm getting divorced after 16 years. I have, you know, I've gone through this issue, et cetera, et cetera. However, these mothers are now worried they spent all their life with their children, sacrificed all their life, you know, nurturing them and making them, you know, who they are. And at the end of this time, for whatever reason, they are now separated. 
or you know um even worse if they become widowed at a young age so at that point these mothers do need an alternative income they do need a way to create that extra income so that they can still parent and be aware and be there for their children and i know that a lot of you right now are single mothers listening to us and we want to applaud you because it is super super difficult and inshallah the reward for you is even greater right okay so the, all of the hard work that you're doing you're being mum and dad to your children and you're earning that income and you're bringing it all in so we should educate our children and we should give them the high expectations but i just wanted to point out that having those high expectations doesn't mean that if they don't achieve what we want them to achieve that's the difference if they achieve what they want to achieve then that makes them successful and we we are not the judge of success or not inshallah that is all with Allah and I just wanted to leave you with that little thought hopefully um, you enjoyed that little 10 minute pep talk inshallah I want all of you to parent with love and purpose inshallah and you know do the best that we can and this conference will hopefully give you all the tools that you need every single day to parent with love and purpose. Over to you, Sister Amina. Yes, Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Also from my side and welcome to every single one of you. MashaAllah. Um, yeah, my colleagues have already introduced everything and um, there is one very important thing that I wanted to add here. Um, so no matter where you are from, no matter who you are and what you are doing, and the most important thing, no matter how big your problems are and how great is the disaster and how much you think I've already messed it up completely. No, it's not right. Because um, we are, as Muslims, alhamdulillah, we have the greatest help that we can imagine to have. And this is what I want you to understand now. In those, in those um, 10 minutes which are remaining from this, inshallah, I'd really like to address those of you who are in a difficult situation. And by the way, I, I, I might say that's most of you. Why? Because we are Muslims and because Muslims are tested. And some of you might be single parents, like having not a good relationship to their children anymore. Some of you might be right in divorce or in big fights. Some of you might even be in bigger trouble from outside, like escaping from a war situation or being traumatized by horrible experiences. But whatever it is, brothers and sisters, it is not too late. And Alhamdulillah, Allah has given us a very, very great chance here to connect worldwide. He's giving us this technique. He's giving us this, this, this means of communication, this YouTube where you just have to click and you can listen to all of these things easily. You can learn so much. The ilm is at your fingertips. The knowledge is, is right in front of you. And like, um, that is, like Sister Farida said so beautifully in the beginning, um, you can connect here to parents who are in a similar situation, inshallah. So please take this chance. Ask your questions in this conference. Uh, go to the lives because in the lives we can directly discuss your questions if, they, um, if we have enough time for this, of course, inshallah. Um, and um, there is one, one very important thing that you, have to, uh, that you have to keep in mind and this is the following. Um, when I heard from my colleague that we are, we have the chance now to join organizing a parenting conference that was last year. And some of you might be aware what we are doing. Um, I am from Maimoon Online, which is a platform for Arabic and Quran lessons. So we have a platform, which is like an online marketplace. You can re register as a teacher. You can also register as a student, whatever you like to, uh, or whatever you're capable of. And you can, or you can register as both. And you can teach there and you can learn there. And you can make, uh, teachers can make a fair income for their families. And students can find exactly the right teacher for their um for their needs, inshallah, and also um, each reading level that they want to have up to the highest ijaza, you can find teachers with us, inshallah. So that's what we do. So I was uh, like, um, first, my first thoughts when I heard to join a parenting conference, I was like, well, 
what's the thing what what does it have to do what we do with parenting but thinking about it it came so clear there are two for me this is this is how i um how i experience this there are two uh, very important things to learn about parenting and about how to raise your kids how to have a happy family how to solve the daily problems that we are facing in life one is all of these things that we learn, the techniques, the tips from other parents about how to treat children and all the things that we that we spoke about before, about mindsets, about mentalities, about adjusting um, yourself in order to be a good parent and so on. Um, the other side, and this is so essential here, is the Ibadah. Because if we are connected to Allah, if we have this relationship to our Creator, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is going to fix so many problems for you. And if we stick to his rules, he is solving more problems for us. And if we obey what he is telling us, he is solving more problems for us. So there are so, so there is so much that we can get from our religion. So this is why my moon is involved in this because we are those who want to remind you of the Quran. Because where do you where do you get all this knowledge from? Where do you get the message from our Creator from? It's in the it's in the Quran. The Quran is a letter sent to you by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It's if you would if you would have a, a letter of any king or uh, any any big. Um, politician or any famous person written to you you would surely make you would make sure to read it and to understand uh, what it's about because it affects your life and it um it's important for you right but you have a letter there for you from the king of the kings from the creator who made all of those kings and uh, and, and and mighty people in in all the world basically you know what i mean <clears throat> So we need to make sure we understand the things that he's telling us there and we follow these rulings. And believe me, if you use this Quran and if you use, if you combine it with the, with the, um, um, with the science of today, like how to raise children. Yeah, there are so many people researching about this to make it easier for us. And this is all compatible with the Quran and with our religion. This is all fitting together like a perfect jigsaw, inshallah. So if you're figuring out this, and if you understand this, then your problems are going to get away slowly by slowly. It might take some time. It might take some sabr, but um, uh, some patience. But but we have to... Uh, we have to stick to Allah's rules and, and then go with it, inshallah. Okay, so this is what Maimun wants to um, bring into this into this conference, the reminders. Because there are people in this world who came out of the prisons happily like Yusuf, alayhi salam, who came out of calamities happily or with taqwa like Yunus, alayhi salam. There are so many people who come out of hardships with love like Ayub, alayhi salam. And there are people who come out of battles, wars, and fights, and they are ha happily like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So um, let's use the Quran again as what it's supposed for us to be. Let's relate to it. Let's use these stories to tell them to our children. Okay? Um, this is if if I want to give you a. Uh, a, a certain tip, like if you have little children or bigger children, it doesn't really matter. Um, but whenever you spend time with them, for example, I do this in the car. I try to relate to stories from the Quran. If you don't know them, just uh, open YouTube in the evening. There are so many people like telling prophet stories uh, in a in a scientific way so that you can understand it. And then you can relate it in the in the language of your own children for their age accordingly so when i'm stuck in the car in traffic with the children they're always like mommy mommy tell us a story what what happened again to prophet are you mm -hmm. and if you use these things you're going to um this makes you connect to your children and this makes them stronger muslims because these are the things that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to learn from okay so these are some words from me and that i wanted to uh, to give you uh, here and um, it's just so very important that you know you're not alone with your struggles sometimes sisters text us and they're like oh thank you for your talks and you helped me because i thought i'm alone with this problem 
But subhanAllah, no. Why ever you are here in this parenting conference, whatever made you click this link, or whoever invited you thinking that you might, um, you might take uh, something positive from this. Um, Everyone can learn here something. We are going to talk about all ages, all stages, all levels, inshallah. And um, you can make something good out of this, inshallah. And yeah, alhamdulillah. So that's it from my side. Barakallahu <laughs> feekum. Ah, bismillah. Sister Iram has just fallen out, I think. <clears throat> Here you are. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> so you're still muted, Sustaira? There is no proper yes, life without God. these okay. little problems of technique, I think. Jazakallah <laughs> khair. Uh, mashallah, tabarakallah. Beautiful reminder, Sister Amina. Alhamdulillah. Um, uh, I... Okay, so number one, this was the first time I heard Sister Farida talk, and it was fantastic. I was, I was like, this is a good advertisement. She is so good, mashallah. <laughs> I know everything was so genuine, Sister Farida. Jazakallahu khair. Alhamdulillah, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers du'as. I have a, just like you went, like you were just a viewer uh, last year, there, there's another bonus speaker with us, uh, a nature's galore sister, Maryam Arafat. She sent me a message and she said when she was doing her visionary du'as, uh, one of the du'as on the top was doing live uh, with Iram bin Safiya on, on any of her platforms, on any of her platforms. And Allahu Akbar, today, uh, mashallah, she is our bonus speaker. Um, and, she will, uh, and you can, of course, enjoy her talk and gain so much wisdom from her. Um, and it, it's that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers. It was in her vision that this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's it's beautiful how Sister Amina put it, how Sister uh, Sara put it, mashallah, tabarakallah. The whole emphasis is on a holistic individual. 100% is nothing. 100% is perfection and perfection is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are made and built to wear and tear until our souls are full of nur and love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And during that whole journey, what's going to happen is we're going to form groups of people of like-mindedness, of hearts of taqwa. And Parenting with Allah by my side, alhamdulillah, came together because there were these women who thought, you know what? We're not going to just keep this khair only in our hands. We are going to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us abundance of khair by spreading it, by becoming keys of khair for other women around us, for other families around us. Usually it comes across and it's very funny that whenever we put a conference on, it's like, is it only for sisters? <laughs> it's, it's, no, parenting is for both men and women, right? We have our spouses or we, have, or we are co-parenting or we have single parents, uh, fathers or mothers, alhamdulillah. And so the whole objective is in whatever capacity we can, we're humans and we err and we have errors and we make mistakes and we falter and and we try, try and try and may Allah accept every one of you who is here is with the intention that, Ya Allah, allow me to be the best kind of parent for my child. Your du'as, your tahajjud, your uh, your silent, your silent, uh, conversations with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are of, Ya Allah, accept it from me. Whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm doing it with the best of my ability and capacity to accept it from me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts in our ways conferences like these, women like these, myself and yourself, so that we can connect with each other and then, inshallah, hand in hand, care, take each other towards a uh, our the end of our journey inshallah a little bit about me because sister uh sarah of course she said Iram, you have to talk about uh what you do so <laughs> i was like yeah sure why not alhamdulillah like she like she introduced i am very energetically this is another e word i think i like the letter alphabet e i'm pretty sure i like alphabet e now and uh, i work with um i work with ethical goodness I work for education, with education, and and I, I, I believe in empathy. And I have prepared, and this is a plug-in, but 
of course, I just finished it. So I'm very proud of it because I was able to finish it on time. And so I just finished this workbook, inshallah ta'ala, that you all can purchase during the conference. And the whole idea is that everything that I've learned through my journey of parenting, and I am learning still, I'm able to share it with you through that workbook. It, it has quotes, it has links, it has um, exercises so that all the moms, and, and I did not make it just for the mothers because I alone, I should be honest, actually, no, those journals are right over there. I have like three, four journals that are just for myself, four journals just for one human being. What am I going to fill in it? But khalas, I have this thing about journals and I do believe in the power of journaling, but it took me a lot of time to come to there. But this, but my, my whole idea is always parenting the parent and parenting the child. And so we coexist together. It's about healing ourselves and understanding ourselves better so that we can understand our children better. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-Hakim al-Kareem allow us the wisdom uh, to be able to parent our children to the best of our abilities. Inshallah ta'ala, I will wrap it around here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching us. And uh, I'll bring everybody on the screen again. Bismillah. Okay, Sarah, up to you. Jazakallah khair for those wonderful reminders. Thank you so much, sisters. I've learned so much today just by five minutes, subhanAllah. Um, I really, really appreciate everything that everyone has done. And I noticed at the beginning they said that, you know, Sister Sarah's the engine. Now she's just the bossy boots, really. <laughs> I just forced them to do things. <laughs> Um, but subhanAllah, I did, you know, may Allah accept this from us because this is why we're doing it. We're doing it to help other parents. We're doing it to help those children. We're doing it to support the families so that inshallah, you guys have a lovely family environment for your children and inshallah they grow up in they would grow up in loving homes i'm sure of course but with allah by your side you can do so much more i just spoke to a sister today who was saying <clears throat> make the wife for me sister you know my husband's the sole earner and i said to her you know what yeah he is but at the end of the day, we are also doing a huge, humongous job by looking after his children, by making sure they are fed, clothed, you know, uh, washed um, baths and things like that, reading stories to them. We're doing a huge, humongous job. And if anyone ever put a value on it, first of all, I don't think they could, but I'm sure that it would be worth at least two or three full-time jobs according to the fact that it's a 24 7 job we're always on duty mashallah you know there's no days off ever <laughs> you know there's not even one minute sometimes of peace you were um one of my nephew's favorite books is uh five minutes of peace just five minutes of peace my, um she asks her she's a part of the large family she's an elephant and she's like, please, you know, and all the kids follow her to the bathroom and then they follow her downstairs. And I said, this is exactly my life. Someone wrote a book about my life. Here it is, everyone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Especially when they're younger and they follow you literally ev everywhere. So the work that we're doing, inshallah, may Allah reward all of us for. And, you know, as mothers, we need to appreciate that we are doing a huge job as fathers. They are the emir of the family. They are the leaders, mashallah. And they are also doing their part to keep those cogs running. And those of us that are doing it alone, subhanAllah, look at the reward that you guys are going to get with double the work, double the reward, inshallah. I just want to let you know that we did talk a little bit about the lifetime access. So what does that entail? You will get access to all of the live videos as they come along. We'll be uploading them into your lifetime access for you, inshallah. And you get access to awesome bonus speakers like Sister Farida here, who's come in. And mashallah, I did her interview, so I know it's full of gems, mashallah. Um, and I told her that. She made me talk quite a lot in, in terms of I was really engaged and I have to cut out all of me speaking. <laughs> it has to be Sister Marita. <laughs> um, but, you know, subhanAllah, it, it was such a good talk um, for me, especially because I have that 12-year-old. I'm right in that same mode of parenting that we were talking about. So it's absolutely fantastic. 
We also have uh, the other teachers as well, uh, the other sisters as well, the coaches um, that are there. Uh, they've done fantastic talks and Sister Amina's done a few interviews, I've done a few interviews and Sister Iram. So we are all really, really, really looking forward to um, sharing those gems of wisdom with you. And I just want to point out that you will also get, on top of everything else, inshallah, you will get, um, I'm just reading the comments and I'm going to get back to that because <laughs> it's a really good one. Um, yeah, so inshallah, you'll also get the workbook that Sister Iram spoke about. You will also get the journaling book by Sister Farida, mashallah, looking at reflections of your parenting. And you will get a productivity journal from me because the, how do we fit all of our tasks in one day? This is really important thing to kind of get a hand of. Of course, you know, things happen, but we should be as organized as possible. And for those of you that have supported us for all that time and you've been with us by our side from the beginning, we have a special bonus for you, which is actually a full course on how to teach your children the Quran. And it's from the beginning and you can just sit with your children. And Sister Amina, I know she spent such a long time doing the recordings for this. It's a fantastic course. It's worth £247 if you were going to get it outside. So, mashallah, we have convinced her to let us have it for you guys so you will also get access to that inshallah um a sister has said that when he, her son was young he used to come to the bathroom till he was one and a half you know honestly sister mine still do <laughs> they still come in. that's why i said i'm gonna get back to you on that one i think yeah my 12 year old for sure has stopped my seven year old has st still keeps sticking his hand in he knows he's not allowed inside at the moment um, but the girls, yep, in and out, no problem. It's just mummy, you know, <laughs> deal with it. And the, the funny thing is, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Does this happen to you um, and Sister Farida when it's like you're sitting there quietly, no one's saying anything, and you just go to the bathroom. All of a sudden, they'll remember everything that they have ever had to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> That's the life, isn't it, Sister? Yeah. Amina? I'm sure you've been through the same thing, right? It's just that thing of um inshallah that we just want to create that bond with the parents and those of you that did the refresh relax recharge challenge i think you've got lots of tricks up your sleeves and inshallah next week this week actually uh, we're going to be talking a lot more about all the different things that you can do to keep them engaged to keep them on track to keep them uh on to keep you on your uh purpose of teaching them inshallah sister um s ali please message me if you ha didn't get your book you will definitely get your books yeah um i will sort that out for you just can you just message uh us on facebook if you can yeah. um, i think she's just thinking about a book that she didn't get anyway fun. back to oh. you guys uh, Zara, just uh, inshallah, the last thing I would like you to tell them is when is our next live with Sister Hala and how many hours, like five hours, inshallah, and the time. Yes, uh, in two hours, inshallah, actually at 7 p.m., we will be back with Sister Hale Banani. It's no, sorry, not two hours. Confusion. I saw oh, your face. No. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, I mean five hours. <laughs> I Where can't get on my fingers. You know, I don't know the time. I send my students different times sometimes as well. Uh, we have to tell that we are talking about UK time, Qatar time, USA time. So, alhamdulillah, different time zones. Mashallah, we're all in different time zones. And that is why you will get our support 24-7 because most likely than not, one of us will be around to answer any of your questions, inshallah. So let me start again. In five hours from now, inshallah, Sister Hale Benani will be here sharing us with her lovely talk, inshallah. And again, we've got lots of information to share with you. And you sure can email me. I'll just put the parenting email in the um, chat, sisters. So if there are any questions, please do email us, WhatsApp us. Um, and let us know if there's anything that you need help with. We're always there, inshallah, to give you a hand. And um, jazakallah care for listening and see you soon for the next installment.
Inshallah. Jazakallah khair, everybody. Thank you for signing up uh, and thank you for being here with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Just one second. I'm just going to say to anyone, just email us with any issues because I think we've still got some people with issues. And I'll just put my WhatsApp number there too. So if anyone has more problems, I can just do that before you log off. There we go. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care.